Hey guys, one of the ways I stay up to date with all my news, whether that's news about what's going on in my friend's life or news that's going on in the tech world or really the world around me, is through Facebook. I know, but it's one of the best ways to do it. So, you can imagine how frustrated I am when I'm using Facebook on my Android and it's just so ridiculously slow. But, with this new app, Fast Facebook, might not be quite that slow. Let's go take a look. So this is my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. I am connected to Wi-Fi, so we're not being slowed down by any kind of uh, wireless data here. The icon is kind of simple. It's a tilted back tile with two Fs on it for fast Facebook. Let's go ahead and launch it. It opens up relatively quickly. One of the things that you'll notice is this nice background. Now you can change that. You can come in here, if I can tap squarely on it, and we can change the background to one of the default backgrounds. That's what I have it set to right now. I can choose a background from my gallery or I can choose just simple gray. So for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and leave it on default backgrounds. The, the, uh, the default that comes in the app is simple gray. So we'll go ahead and back out of that and if you notice, it's a very nice, very ice cream sandwich-like interface. So if we look, you can see how many people have thumbs up, how many people have commented, who it is that posted, it, what they said, and uh, then down here it doesn't show up well on this background, but you've got the date and time of the post. It's very quick, as you can see here, I'm scrolling just really nice, really fast. We do have pictures, for example, Pocket Now's articles all have pictures associated with them. We can give that one a thumbs up by coming in here. From what I can tell, you do have to go into this separate view, the post view is what I'm calling that, to be able to give it a thumbs up or to be able to comment. Little bit of a, uh, a short description that you can scroll here and then these are the comments. Looks like there are only a couple on this one, otherwise we could scroll it. This little icon down here lets you go out to the source. So in this case, it would fire up that article in the pocketnow.com website. This lets me share it, and uh, I just hit my multitask by mistake. Again, thumbs up, and if I wanted to post a comment, I could do that very quickly, very easily. You can see how nice and fluid these animations are. It has a very nice uh, ice cream sandwich-like interface. So the first downside, unlike the regular Facebook app where I can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, this has a limit. I don't know exactly what that limit is, but it's about one-tenth of what it should be, uh, maybe even less. So, not an awful lot. Now that's because it's using the Facebook APIs to be able to get all of the data into the, uh, the app itself. But let's go ahead and keep looking. Uh, this is my little notification stuff. And you can see here, this scrolls pretty well. And it actually has quite a bit of notifications in it. So, kind of nice how it does that. The back button doesn't always do what I think that it's supposed to do. For, you know, for that one, I expected it to take me out of the notifications but it took me out of the app. Still in beta, still a little bit of quirks to work around, but still overall not bad. If I want to write a message, I can do that. If I want to post my location, I can do that. You can see my wallpaper just changed there. If I want to upload a picture, I can do that through my gallery. If I want to put in a post, I can do that just as easily. So here you can see, I can't just touch out of that. I actually have to use the back button to, to take me out. Overall, not bad. Refresh either by clicking the refresh button or by pulling down to refresh. And you can see where it says refreshing right there. I can come in and send new messages to a friend using that button. I can search for things. Look at all of my peeps in here, all eight gazillion of them. And of course, look at pictures in there as well. So I don't wanna embarrass any of my friends by showing you those, so we'll just go ahead and leave it there. The app again is called Fast Facebook. It's a beta, it's by Team Too Soft. It is free, I haven't seen any ads in it at all so far. Hopefully there aren't any, but that remains to be seen, they might have to put an ad in there to monetize it. Uh, hopefully they don't do anything like air push or whatnot. Uh, that would be bad, but very cool. Much, much faster than the regular Facebook app. 
um, a much nicer interface from uh, from where I sit, but I'm interested to know what you think. Do you like this better than the stock Facebook app? Why and why not? Go ahead and let us know down in the comments so we can uh, we can know. You know what did I miss? What would you like to see uh, done differently? And of course, uh, what's not here that you would like to see in a Facebook app? Let us know and head on over to pocketnow.com to read tips, tricks, news, and articles about not only Android phones, but also other tablets and other smartphones as well. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.